Come here to the restaurant of the food of the gods right here. What's up? How do you feel? Do you feel ready to become a god? Not really. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. What you have here is a bunch of kids about to eat at Malaysia's best restaurant. I wanted to thank my student Gerald for helping me with a recent workshop that we planned together. So we decided to go to Dewakan. Dewakan is basically a culinary project that was started at KDU College by Chef Darren Teo. The restaurant's name is a composite of the Malay words for God and food. A dedication to food from God, perhaps. It's also the first Malaysian restaurant to have cracked the Asia's 50 best restaurants list and has done that for a couple of years now. This is no ordinary restaurant and we knew that the experience would be far from normal. The Dewakan experience begins with a kitchen tour of one of the most unique kitchens I've seen in my life. We have the honor of being welcomed by Chef Ling. Someone try kitchen. It's very different from most of the kitchen parts as well. A cornucopia of molecular gastronomy, unique ingredients, sights, smells, visions of the delicious and the ridiculous intertwine, unfailingly with a local twist. Yeah, well, I was from our sea, from our farm, all around us. The food is from Barra. It's a uh, white mango, so it's a very sweet white. It looks like a gigantic potato. Yeah, it's more like potato. <laughs> when I first learned about Dewakan, I immediately thought of the legendary Noma, at which Chef Darren served as a stagiary in the past, and that, like Dewakan, is famous for its focus on local ingredients. Our concept is uh, using uh, local produce. Got so, it. yeah, for most of our produce are all around from the region. Yeah, as well, we learned a lot from our uh, native. Okay. Yeah, we learned about the jungle for and they help us to forage a lot of we did as well. As our kitchen tour came to an end, it was time for dinner to start. Yo, what do you think about this place? Interesting place, huh? Alright, so from here, I'm going to take care of you guys. Okay, thank you so much. The view outside Dewakan is wonderful, but not gonna lie though, I was slightly concerned at this point about ending the career of one of the world's best mathematicians. Mainly because seafood restaurant, fine dining. Guess we'd find out at this legendary dinner table. Ready or not, it was time for our epic meal time. Today in Welcome to Dewakan. Apparently, Dewaka makes its own hand sanitizer. This one had vodka and cinnamon vibes. An interesting prelude to our strange and interesting menu. Or maybe I should have said menu since they had modified J's. So our friend right here has an interesting and unique menu. Let's have a look. Whoa. What on earth? I never even heard of half of those ingredients. Anyway, we knew this would be an experience unlike any other. And with that in mind, dinner began. Okay, so over here we both have Tea made from green skin mangoes, cumin and mint, and then it fills with pine needles as well. Oh wow, okay. Thank you. Trust me when I say that that tea smelled amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. It was warm, calming, absurd. I never experienced anything like it before. Attack. Attack on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I have no clip of me actually drinking the tea, so please accept this substitute. Cheers. Wait, where am I? Jokes aside, it was actually awesome. A wonderful palate cleanser and a prelude to what was to come. First was Jay's plant forward replacement menu, which was a shock. Sea grapes, candied asam galugor, blossoms, compressed. What the heck is a compressed cucumber? Anyway, my seafood platter was at hand. We have it from a Sapona Sava. We are lightly steamed the fans. The liver, we make it to a cream remona at the bottom. So right. the sauce which go with this is the grilled chardis. Yes, I know there's a casual flower appearing here. <laughs> so we serve it with, on top with arranging with the uh, walker tundo. So on the skewer we have the bloodless walker from Sava as well. It's marinated with the plunging. Yeah, on top with a salsa mango of a chai berry and less of them box. And just like that, we move on to the most beautiful dish I'd seen in my life. The seven day age uh, Manama snapper. Oh, it's slicing up and inside the snapper is open up and sandwich with the 
Uh, he didn't need to say anything else. Yeah, so I was sold. The... Oh, and there was this, which I ate too quick. I started to realize that their menus gave you only less than half the story that they were actually telling through the food. Like this duck broth right here. Move the duck in house for 10 hours. Then they pressure cook it, the duck meat and the bone together with some chilies and asam rubo toppings. Wow. So it's very smoky. Umami and spices. Frankly, I just forgot to record myself because I was just so bowled over by the presentation, the taste, the flavors that just seemed to meld with one another. But thankfully, our friends at Wander Eats came through, allowing me to demonstrate at least this dish right here. Roll it up. Yum. Some of these dishes, I'm still not sure what to think though. For example, these delicious greens, yes, but uh... And then on the side there, we have a dipping that we call uh, fresh milk curd with a lamb brain. Lamb what? A lamb brain. Very interesting. I'll say, don't worry, no zombie here. <laughs> <laughs> then there was this. This was like an NPC dish amongst the main character, so let's skip that. And you said that this is a duck tongue dumpling? Yes. Wow. Not bad, but not exactly a main character dish either. Not bad, not earth-shakingly wonderful. If we were to use One Piece to describe this dish, this would be Sanji. But speaking of One Piece, that all changed because my next dish was exerting some serious conqueror hack. Thank you, that was awesome. So what you have over here will be the uh, tender crayfish. Crayfish sauce is from the east of Malaysia. So uh, it's uh, cut from the sea, so it's a bigger piece of the crayfish. So we wrap with the bamboo leaf. The turmeric leaf, the steamed with the secret starter. Mm. I miss the little bit of sauce here, it's like yogurt and prawns. This thing, this thing is basically exerting a conqueror hati in my general direction right now. Oh, yeah, look at me. <laughs> yeah, all right. This thing was heaven on a plate, perfectly spiced, aromatic, delicious. An absolute testament to the wonders of Malaysian seafood. Meanwhile, Gerald ate bambi. Pray for the trauma, friends. Okay, and this one was lion's mane mushroom with egg. It's underneath you get a pickle of egg yolk, you throw it with some of the vinegar. You put diced meat or dark sausage. You just pop Okay, fine, damn it. You have conqueror haki too. I get owls are like exuding like king's haki. <laughs> And finally, it was time for the most epic dish of the evening. But first for context, a trip back in time. One only. One yeah, only. Yeah, so you have, uh, you can have a smell for this. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, the weirdest experience of yeah. my entire life. And you know what's even weirder? I thought this thing looked strangely familiar, so I went ahead and researched it. And true enough, sometimes I step on this fruit whenever I go running. Imagine my surprise when I saw it in this interesting restaurant. Uh, there's a different amount of sauce. Uh, for Mr. Victor, you are having this uh, seafood sauce with rose butter. Ladies and gentlemen, will be the goose sauce with rose butter. The bread is made from the noni fruit. So noni is a fruit that it looks uh, very uh, clean. You can check and give it a sauce. Got it. Okay? Done. Thank you so much. They did give you more noni bread. They did. They did, yeah. indeed. Wow. If there ever were a food that could actually bring me to heaven and back, it would be this. If you were to choose to go to Dewakan for only one thing, it would be the noni bread. And if you were to convert the Mona Lisa into a piece of food, the noni bread would be the result. If you were to take the entire library of Alexandria and burn it again and compile the ashes and hope that it was spontaneously compiled into a single food item, it would be the noni bread. All the world's poetry and all the world's art, every single bit of the world's civilization and culture can be found within the crumbs of noni bread easily the most wonderful dish of the night. I was really a bit bowled over by the last dish for sure, but dessert was no slouch either. A wonderful and complex synthesis of sweet, bitter elements combined together in some weird and beautiful symphony. It's something that I'm going to remember for a very long time. All in all, my first meal at Dewakan was really a paradigm shift. It really showed me what was really possible with Malaysian talent just creating a wonderful experience that everyone in the world should definitely try at least once in a lifetime. Anyway, you know that a restaurant is good when your very first thought after eating there the morning after is, let's go back.